Hey folks, in this video, I will be showing you how to use Zapier and specifically using Zapier in Team Builder to connect with Constant Contact. So first things first, I'm logged into Team Builder. I am in the Payments Portal and I am in the Integrations tab. Uh, secondly, I'm logged into my Constant Contact account. Now, when you click Link to Zapier, if you have a Zapier account, uh, you just need to click Connect Team Builder uh, here. Uh, otherwise, you need to log in. So in this case, I am logged in and I'm going to click Connect Team Builder to 5,000 plus apps. Now, in this case, I know which app I want to connect to. It's going to be Constant Contact. So uh, first, I'm going to go ahead and give a title. So I'm going to say New Subscriber to CC for Constant Contact. And what that means is anytime I get a new subscriber in my Team Builder Payments Portal, I want that to create a new contact in Constant Contact. So first things first for the actual Zap is you will need to create a trigger event. So in the Team Builder app, I want to choose an event that triggers this Zap to take place. So in this case, I'm gonna choose new subscriber. As you can see, we have some other actions. New registration is when someone registers for a program, but they don't actually end up paying yet. So sometimes people will register, but they won't pay. And what we can do is we can capture that, that information, send it to an application to continue marketing to them. So I do have that as an option. Uh, but otherwise, I'm going to use subscriber because this will confirm that someone is subscribing to the program and is intending to pay, meaning they enter their credit card details. So the event in this case is new subscriber. I will then click continue. And um, you may need to log into Team Builder to verify. I've already done that. So it knows my Team Builder account because I logged in using my Team Builder credentials. Next, I'm going to choose uh, a trigger. Um, so in this case, I'm going to say, hey, it's Team Builder. Uh, so not, it's not exactly a trigger, but I actually have multiple Team Builder accounts. So it's asking me which of my multiples to use. And in your case, you may just have one Team Builder account. So you would not have to worry about that. Okay. Next is uh, you're going to test the trigger and um, they're not going to find a subscriber because we'd have to go in there and actually create a subscriber. So I'm going to skip this test, but if you have subscribers, it's going to find them and tell you who they are. So I'm going to skip this trigger. And the next thing is, is I'm going to uh, add uh, an action and I'm going to search the application that I want to use with the action. So in this case, it will be constant contact. When I choose constant contact, I then have to choose an event. And they have quite a few events here. So what I want to do is I want to create a contact. Uh, uh, creates a contact on a specific list in your account. So when I click continue, it's going to ask me to sign in to constant contact. Uh, I have credentials to constant contact, so I'm going to click allow access. And now it, it recognized my constant contact credential because I'm logged in here in my browser. And then I'll click continue, and then now I get to choose the action. So uh, the source is going to be the contact. Uh, so it describes who added the contact. That's the contact. Uh, email. Uh, this is going to be email address here. And then list. This is where you create lists in Constant Contact. So my list is just simply called general interest. You may want to create one called like payment portal customers or something along those lines. And then now you can do first name, last name, job title, any information that you collect. So in this case, I'll just do, I'll do first name, last name. I don't think we take company name. I don't think we take phone. Uh, I don't think we take a lot of these fields. So I might just leave these all blank. So I get email, first name, last name, and then I'll click continue. Uh, and then it asks to do a test, which we can do, but uh, since I'm not creating a new uh, subscriber yet in Team Builder. This test, um, actually in this case, this test did pull uh, an address from my Team Builder account and created them in Constant Contact. So this test was successful. And then because it was successful, it will ask me to publish. So I will go ahead and publish this now. And what that means is if when I have a new subscriber in Team Builder, uh, that subscriber will now be added to Constant Contact and uh, they will be added to the list uh, that you designate. So in my case, general interest, but in your case, you can create a list of your own. 